We'll be back in a moment, continue talking with Dr. Joy Pugh, and then next hour we'll open up the phone lines and give you an opportunity to chat with her. George, let's uh, get your take, first of all, on the Shroud of Turin. It has not been officially authenticated. Some believe it is medieval a painting. Some others say, no, it is actually what is the cloth that was wrapping uh, Jesus in. Well, you know, the thing that um, just really the first time that I ever really laid my eyes on the shroud, I, um, I'll be honest with you. It looked just like the person that I had seen when I was six years old in that mm. dream. So my take on this is a whole different uh, take. Uh, and I guess that's why I, when I wrote my first book, Antichrist, the the Image of Jesus Christ, and, you know, at that time there was all kinds of speculation about it. But my truly belief is, having seen what I saw, that that image is identical to what I saw. And so um, I truly, 100% believe that it is definitely the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Okay, and for the sake of this interview, let's make that assumption that uh, that you're correct and that, that the, 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 some of the others who have looked at the shroud also are correct. Uh, let's, uh, let's then assume that the blood stains that are on that cloth are authentic. Can you get DNA from that, and can you clone then from that piece of blood that well, is over 2,000 years old? If we, if we look at uh, some of the research that was actually done on the shroud back in 1978, actually before the Vatican became the owner of the shroud, there were blood stains that were removed and in, in the uh, 3rd Dallas International Conference uh, paperwork that I received, it showed that this particular blood that was removed was actually cloned. And, um, and so if they are stating that that blood was cloned, then of course, you know, that was a, a proof that it was cloned. Now, some people have said, well, it was very degraded and that you cannot take degraded uh, DNA and that you can, you know, that you cannot um, clone it. Clone from that, yeah. But unfortunately, you know, from what I've been able to read, especially recently in some of the documents that have been sent to me, uh, most recently they, they cloned some, um, some mice that supposedly had been frozen for years and years and years, and the cells had actually burst, and they were able to clone those mice perfectly. So I think that when we look at things like uh, the cloning of even some of the Ice Age behemoths that they are talking about now, that they have the capability of, of duplicating those, I think that, like we mentioned earlier, um, it, it has been told to us that it can't be done for the purpose of keeping us from understanding that it can be done. And once it is done and then it's showed to you, like in Dolly, then, you know, I... I truly believe that um, there was plenty of blood on that shroud. There was plenty of other types of skin cells. There's this body fluid. All those kinds of things are all over, you know, that shroud image. And, of course, you know, anyone can go and look at you know, some of these, uh, these shroud things that are on the Internet as well as some of the, you know, international conference paperwork that specifically says these things exist on that shroud. And it, I think it's no different um, than when the carbon dating was done. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, I mean, you have, you have to do, you know, do your research. And I encourage people that have a question about it, if they think it's not real, to really look at what was happening with just the removal of the uh, piece that was sent to the yeah, three it, laboratories. It was, it was a very small piece, It was a small number piece. one. And also there was a fire many, many years ago, right? Right, and I truly, you know, from, from the information that I have gotten my hands on, it is actually showing that these people who allowed that piece to be took from that area knew that piece was going to not come out to the correct carbon dating because it actually had what we call cotton threads that had been interwoven with this linen. And the cloth, the, the true cloth is a linen cloth. And it did not have any cotton threads back in that day to have been mixed in with it. So when they took that piece off that shroud, they knew 
they, uh, they, those people need, that's what makes me really mad about all this, is they really knew that they were giving people a piece of, you know, cloth that was not going to date that shroud correctly. And, um, you know, if, if somebody's interested in that, they can look at Moreno and, and Pryor's work that's just come out um, that shows that there was anomalous nature of that C-14 sample on that shroud. And, and when you, again, the, the thing is this, what I'm trying to, I guess, in my work show that there is a hidden agenda, and if things come to light prior to, they will do whatever they can to keep it from coming out in the, into the normal light of, of the masses of people knowing until they want to expose it. And they will do whatever is necessary to make it look like it's opposite. And they're doing this to the point that, you know, even the shroud was on uh, display. And when um, Valdez did some work on, on, on parts of the shroud and came up with, you know, the the fact that they, he thought that the uh, the bacteria was actually, sh you know, causing the carbon dating to be wrong from the other things that they had done, then all of a sudden, you know, they wanted to pull the shroud out and not let people look at it and not have anybody have accessibility to it. And then they started demanding that if anybody had samples like uh, this Rigatti and um, I can't think of the other guy's name, if I can put my finger on it real quick, um, they had, like, taken samples before the, the Vatican owned it. Well, they started demanding those samples be returned. And I'm like, why, why wouldn't you just want every scientist out there to have accessibility to something to try to really figure out? I mean, this route is the most researched relic in all of our history. And if that is Jesus Christ on that shroud, and that is his blood, his blood is definitely different than what our blood would be. And if that blood is there and it can be cloned, it would be the blood of the divine creator w along with the blood of Mary. However, without the spirit, without the soul attached to it. Right. You wouldn't have the same soul, right? No, because there is no way that anything that's ever recreated, if you and I were to be cloned, the breath that is in us is given by God, and it only inhabits one time. And you can. There's no genetic gene for that breath. So, it would not be Jesus. It would look like him. It would only be something that looked like him. And back in the uh, Talmud, it talked about that there were beasts that were created that were human-looking, but they did not have the breath mm -hmm. or the soul within the body. So I find it interesting that when we start talking about Antichrist, we hear the word beast, beast, beast. Everything's the beast, the beast, the beast. That would be a vehicle, a body, without a soul. So would this be, if they if they took some blood samples, and you happen to think they've already done this. Oh, they you? did it back in 1978, I know for sure. All right, we'll get into that in a second here. But if, if they take the sample uh, of the DNA from the blood, clone it, would it be the opposite then of Jesus? And would that truly make it an antichrist? What it would do would, would actually make it an image. And uh, in, the, in, the, in the Greek, when John the Revelator wrote the book of Revelations in regard to the antichrist, he used the word, the Greek word icon, which would be like a statue, it would mean like a statue. So if you stop and think, what would it be like if you took that image off? It would be like a statue of that person without the person being in it. It would not be a live person as the person if, as it was taken from. And it's the only time that that image, the word icon is used, is only in that revelation part, and it's only in, attributed to that particular uh, being 